What's going on, you guys? Your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, back with another review on Black Dynamite, episode four. I forgot what the name of this episode was called. Forgive me, but this episode featured the legendary, late great Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Now, let me just say that I don't know how this cartoon is still on the air after all the offensive shit that they've said. They've taken a lot of risk which is making it very awesome I mean the episodes continue to amaze me but um I don't know how long this is gonna stay on the air but I have to say this was by far the funniest episode this was what I wanted I wanted a little more range in voice acting I wanted to see some better animation and this episode pretty much delivered that episode 4 by far the best episode I don't know which one is gonna top it I don't know if it's gonna get any better it pretty much jumped out of the cliches that I was uh, looking at with each character having his or own problems and dealing with their own ignorance, you know, and pretty much betraying the group. But this episode right here kind of steers more towards Black Dynamite and his problems with the IRS. You know, he hasn't been paying his taxes and he's pretty much been like a broke guy. And um, the whorehouse or the orphanage has been, you know, kind of feeling sympathetic towards him and trying to give him money. but. Black Dynamite, you know how he is, uses that psychedelic reverse psychology and tell him since you want him to take the money that he's not going to take the money. So he goes, you know, and um, tries to take care of stuff himself. And somewhere down the episode, I don't remember it clearly, but he meets up with Richard Pryor. Now, Richard Pryor, the way they have this guy moving is an exact way he moves in real life. Like on some of his old stand-ups when he'll make those certain gestures that just make you laugh. It's like the guy doesn't even have to say anything at all. He can just make you laugh from just his body language. And um, that's pretty much what his character's demeanor was based off of. Just everybody just laughing him just for the sake of laughing. Even if the guy isn't saying things funny intentionally, people still laugh at him. And that's something that he struggles with. That's something that um, conflicts him. Just being this funny guy that nobody takes serious. Now, you think Richard Pryor wouldn't have that problem? I don't think Richard Pryor ever had that problem. You know, he was a really realistic guy. But um, in the cartoon, they kind of make fun of that. I mean, the shit that he says, I don't know who they got to do the voice for Richard Pryor, but it was top-notch, top-tier voice acting, like a, a, the best Richard Pryor impression that I've ever seen. You know, I think they would have to get Eddie Murphy to do it, but whoever did this shit was good. And I didn't notice, I didn't think that it was Atheon Crockett or D-Ray Davis, you know, I had a problem with that shit up in the previous episodes because I kept hearing those voices recycled over and over for each character. Did not hear those voices. Yeah, but, um, mostly what I liked about this, act, this episode is how much the action, you know, pretty much ensued, the pacing of the action. The comedy was very, like original like some of the jokes were kind of used but some of the uh the jokes they used for richard pryor were very original like i never heard them before but if he was still alive and kicking you would probably still hear him say shit like this and um i also noticed like some of the scenes that i've seen from the promos of black dynamite the cartoon where he would jump over people i think he jumped over somebody's head and then he jumped off a car and he was carrying richard pryor in one arm the animation flew it this is the most fluid I've ever seen in animation in either of the episodes. Overall, I had to give this episode a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed myself. I can't wait to see what, what's next to come, uh, come with the series. Uh, you know how it is, though, with the, the people who created Boondocks. You know, you never know when they're going to take a hiatus. This might just be a 10 episode series. It might just be like 12 episodes. I don't know if they're going to continue with a, a second season or not. Hopefully they don't, they don't go on hiatus anytime soon because they're on the road. They're doing a good job right now. Really enjoy myself. But um, sorry for the footage. Um, it's in black and white because I forgot to set, set my HD PVR component cables to the right setting. So I apologize for that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Didn't want to spoil too much for you. Go check out the episode if it's on YouTube or any other streaming site. Go check it out. Black Dynamite. Episode 4. Can you dig me, baby? Catch you guys later. This is RBG signing out.